When you think of B760 motherboards, you usually think of good budget options. So why on earth does the ASUS ProArt B760 Creator cost a whopping $240? Well, it is a creator-centric motherboard after all, so you'd think it has some exclusive features to make it worth the price, but I'm struggling to really find any. And don't worry, the name is just pure branding. It is more than good enough for gaming as well, if that's your primary purpose. If you manage to pick this motherboard up in a good deal or something, that is if you want to. It's because while well, starting off with CPU power, here we have 12 plus 1 plus 1 power phases rated at a maximum of 50 amps, which is definitely far from the most in the world, especially at this price. And you don't even get the full two 8-pin connectors, you get a 8-pin and a 4-pin. Though it really shouldn't matter unless you're some like hardcore overclocker or something. Though one very interesting thing, speaking of power, is this additional 6-pin next to the motherboard 24-pin connector. It is an auxiliary PCE connector to drive some more power to your PC expansion cards if necessary. It's a nice feature in theory, but I don't think too many people really care about it. And speaking of PC expansion, I mean it's fine. You do of course have a primary PCE Gen 5 slot, then an additional 16x slot that's actually just for Gen 4 lanes, plus finally a little PC Gen 3 slot for good measure. And storage wise, it's definitely not blowing anyone away either with three M.2 slots, with two of them being Gen 4, and one being Gen 3, but it shares lanes with one of the PCE slots and the Wi-Fi M.2 slot, meaning that it's just going to run at two Gen 3 lanes. Uh, yucks, especially seeing how creators need some pretty good and fast storage as a major disappointment. Though at least you do get four set of connectors as well. Finally, when it comes to rear I.O., well, it's again something you'd expect from B760, but not from such an expensive B760 motherboard. board. Well, you do have 8 USB Type-A ports, which definitely isn't the least in the world. Half of them are still USB Gen 2, while none of the other Gen 3 ones are faster than 5 gigabits. Plus, even the included USB Type-C port is only 10 gigabits, which again for creators is an absolutely big deal, seeing how we'll be most likely dealing with pretty large files on some external SSDs and whatnot that requires some pretty fast connectors. You do, however, get two RJ45 Ethernet ports, one being 2.5 gig and the other being 1 gig, which is interesting. I mean, if you have plenty of local devices you need to access, I guess that can be helpful, but there's definitely bigger priorities at this price point. The other rear I.O. is pretty standard. You do have both integrated HDMI and DisplayPort. You also have Wi-Fi 6, not 6E, and also the full array of audio options, including optical SPDIF, which is nice to see. Meaning that all in all, that motherboard is inoffensive, but at the same time, there's very little there that makes it worth the $240 asking price. And sure, while it can be gotten in a DDR4 variant, there's also so many other fantastic B760 motherboards on offer, but if you really like this one, be it just for the particular specs it offers or for the aesthetic, and I mean it does look really nice and minimalist, then I mean there are definitely worse options out there, so if you want to get it yourself, then Amazon and your links will be up in the iCards and down in the description below, where you'll also find a Patreon, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way, plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Elevronia, Death Panda, Bardosh Roker, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember, just subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.